now that we've defined what a power function is, and we've talked a little bit about end behavior, we can get into polynomial functions. So the definition of a polynomial function in one variable is a function that's of the form p of x equals a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. Now at this point you're probably, your heart's probably beating a little fast and you're wondering what the heck are all of these letters meaning. So remember when we learn about slope. We learn the formula for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Why do we have these different numbers written underneath the x's and the y's? The reason that we do that is because we want to denote that this y is different than this y. This x is different than this x. It's the same kind of idea for why we call this a sub n and this a sub n minus 1. It's just to show that these, and these are just the coefficients that are in front of the variable x so that these coefficients aren't necessarily the exact same. To go a little bit further on polynomials, the different coefficients, so a sub 0, a 1, those have to be real numbers. And the main thing to know if something is a polynomial is that n, which is the exponent, must be a non-negative integer. So in other words, n must be a whole number. Whole numbers are th numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. It's equal to 0 or a positive integer. Some other facts about polynomial functions. The domain of a polynomial function is all real numbers. The degree of a polynomial is the highest exponent. The leading term of a polynomial is the term with the highest exponent. A polynomial is in standard form if it's written in descending order. So what we mean by that is you want to make sure if you have, so I'll just give you an example. If we have something like 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. So you can see this is written in descending order based on the exponents. So that's that exponent is 3, 2, this one would be 1, and this one would technically be 0. So again, it's in standard form when the exponents are written from the largest to smallest. The constant of a polynomial function is this value right here, a sub 0. So remember, a constant is just a constant number. It doesn't include a variable. Let's look at some examples. Determine which of the following are polynomial functions. For those that are, state the degree. And for those that are not, explain why not. In order to be a polynomial function, the biggest thing that we look for is that the exponents are non-negative integers. So looking at letter A, we can see that the exponents for each term, that one is 2, this one would be 1, and this one would be 0. So we can see those are all non-negative integers, they're these whole numbers. So this is a polynomial. Now if I had to state the degree, so remember degree is the highest exponent, so the largest exponent for A is 2. 
if I were to also take this one more step further and state what the leading term is, so again, that leading term is the term that has the highest exponent, so that would be this entire term, 3x squared. Looking at letter B, this is not a polynomial, and that's because it has this one-third power. That is not a non-negative integer. Letter C, that would also be stated as a not a polynomial. And that's because we have a negative exponent. Letter D, most students want to say that this is not a polynomial because they don't see an x value there. Remember that anything to the first power is just 1. So we could rewrite g of x as negative 5 times 1, because negative 5 is the same thing as negative 5 times 1. And then I can replace that 1 with just x to the 0 power. These are all equivalent. Negative 5x to the 0 power is the same thing as negative 5. So this actually uh, works with the definition of a polynomial function. That exponent has to be a non-negative integer, so it can be 0. So this would be considered a polynomial. And the degree of it is going to be 0, since that exponent is 0. Looking at letter E. So for letter E, notice that this is in um, factored form. So if we're actually wanting to figure out what the leading term is, what the degree is, and if this is a polynomial, you'd want to usually factor this out. So if I do that, we get 3s times 2s squared, which is 6s to the third minus 3s. So we can see that this is a polynomial because all of the different exponents are positive integers, or non-negative integers, I mean. And the degree of this is 3. So it's not 2. The degree is going to be the highest exponent. And just so we maybe add on to this, it's the highest exponent in standard form. So standard form is once you've actually factored this all out and you have it in expanded form, essentially. Okay, and here we'd say the leading term is 6s cubed. 